It is 847, the first Monday of every October. The United Nations and organizations all around the world celebrate World Habitat Day. Yes, here in West Michigan, the Habitat for Humanity of Kent County has a full day planned. Emily is live with more on how you can get involved. Good morning. Great looking hat, kid. Good morning. Thank you. I'm ready to go. You know, they can always use volunteers. That That is what makes all of this possible because more than 4,000 people in Kent County are facing inadequate shelter situations. We're with Mark, and he's a Faith Relations Director at Habitat. Now, you guys pull a lot of your volunteers come from the local churches, but families, anyone can yeah. sign up to do this. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of corporations as well. Steel Case was out Friday with 100 people. Uh, churches come out all the time. So a lot of people we pull from every corner of the county. All right, well, we're, we're standing right now. It's going to be a future build site in just a few weeks. We're going to start hammering and nailing, and we're going to put up an entire structure. But for now, we have this. What is that? Well, we're, part of the event of World Habitat Day is to call attention to substandard housing, both here locally and internationally. And this is a shanty town, and we had a youth group come out, and we gave them discarded materials, much as a person in the developing world might find a, or build their home out of and said go at it and this is what they built and it's a it's awareness raiser uh, regarding the housing conditions of the majority population in the world and it's good to know that when you donate or you volunteer all the work that's done at Habitat for Humanity of Kent County also supports uh, people who need it around the world correct yeah we uh, work in partnership with Habitat International we're an affiliate of theirs and so money that goes from here goes on to them as well and we've built approximately 250 to almost 260 houses internationally as well. So when you volunteer and give locally, it also helps the international families. Well, good to know. And then today, if you want to learn more and celebrate World Habitat Day, John, you can break down those list of events for us. Yeah, everything happens right in front of Wealthy Street Theater. And from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., World Habitat Day, presented by Car City. And quite a few local sponsors as well. We're, we're very uh, fortunate to uh, have, have the support from. And we'll have a chance, uh, attendees, to have a walking tour of homes here, get on the Grand Rapids trolley if they'd like, and, and have a much more extensive tour for a half hour. We even have uh, four to five 20-minute lecture series happening inside the theater. One example is um, what is a, su a sustainable business? And that's going to be provided by uh, Deborah Steckety with Aquinas College. So we feel like um, you know, it's just an opportunity to come support the cause, also have a lot of fun on a beautiful day on your way to our prize meeting. And you're going to learn a lot about the Wealthy Heights neighborhood. The Habitat for Humanity has had great success. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, um, it, it's amazing that right here in this neighborhood of Wealthy Heights will, by next year, have completed 10 houses. Uh, to see that within about a six-block right. radius is, is really, really powerful. So. And this site right here will be one of those. And they say at Habitat for Humanity, uh, it's all about hope, faith, and love. So that's what we are promoting here. I'm going to help with a little decoration. And you guys can come see this for yourselves. Learn all about it tonight to celebrate World Habitat Day. Love. All right. That's very